Hey guys, it's Sparrow in upstate New York. Today, I wanted to tell you about spirit guides and my own spirit guide and an exchange we had in a past life. It may or may not have to do with rifles. Spirit guides are, it's like a guardian angel. It's someone that's with you, that can help you. It's sort of like feeling your gut, but it's a person that helps you along your entire life. And it's really nice to get to know them. When I started looking into learning more about my spiritual gifts and I got a spiritual teacher, I was told to do something that I thought would never work. She told me to, sometime when I'm alone, especially if you're just in your room or somewhere you're used to being, ask your spirit guide to show themselves to you. And she also said, if you do see them, ask them to show you something about how you know them or how you're connected. In my case, even if you don't believe in it really, or you can't really understand it, how it works, just do it. What happened to me was I was in my room, I was watching a video on my computer. I was just like, hey, spirit guide in my head, like show yourself to me if you can, that'd be great. Um, and I did honestly try, I kind of, elevated my energy and like you know tried to up here like be like hey spirit guide show yourself to me if you can i'd love it and as i was about to look back to my computer i all of a sudden saw very plainly a man standing there and he looked like he was maybe 50 and he had gray hair just straight to, down to here he looked so confident he had these great pants on and this warm um, kind of burnt orange shirt and he just had the best energy. I just felt the most comfortable with him than I've ever felt really with anyone. And I saw him for about three seconds and then he was gone and it was the perfect amount of time because I think I would have been too freaked out if he was there for too much longer but at the same time it was just long enough for me to see him. And then I asked him, how do I know you? And he showed me the most incredible thing I've seen probably. He showed me this dust storm. I was with him and I had a sawed off shotgun that I had carved like stories of things that we had done together, little adventures we'd had. I couldn't tell if we were really good friends or if we were getting married, but he had carved his, I had carved mine and we exchanged these beautiful rifles and we loved dust storms oddly enough. It felt amazing. You sort of feel what you felt at the time. And it's like, it's almost like reliving it. It just feels wonderful. But it also helped me understand how I knew this man and how we were connected. When you get to know your spirit guide a little bit more and you get to know about them, you learn a lot about yourself, but you also can have a deeper relationship with them. And then if you get a feeling, you know, to do something or not to do something, and you know that they're telling you, you, you know that it's coming from a really important, good place. So you'll be less likely to go against it. And then you won't have regrets. So there are several different ways to find your spirit guides. One way is by asking to see them in the everyday like I did. Another way is to ask to see them in a dream. For instance, if you had a dream about something that was going to happen and then it happened, that's a great way for you. Just ask to see and to remember the dream after you wake up. Another way is seeing if you have relatives that are from a certain tradition and then following that same tradition to find your spirit guide. Happy shooting Whoa. for your spirit guide. Bye. <laughs> and me floating away into the stratosphere. Bye.